right there. Just watch this guy pull his hook right out of the back of the fish, all these flossers. He must be proud. He's such a good fisherman. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome to another In The Out episode. As you can tell by the title, we're doing a little after work fishing here. Um, so I'm seeing fish roll behind me and now I'm seeing fish come in from the tail out down here. So I'm probably gonna strap you guys on the chesty after I fish this hole and go down here. It just rained a little bit. So I'm hoping we got some fresh fish. Uh, we're looking for some coho salmon. So, uh, Fingers crossed, wish me some luck and uh, stay tuned guys, a little after work challenge.
off right there. Let's see what it looks like. You guys see it? Looks pretty old. All right, guys, well, I know you probably saw a few flop there, but um, they're really dark. And uh, there's no current moving here. I don't see any fresh move, fish moving in. It did rain a little bit, and I thought it'd bring more, but we definitely need this thing to come up about a foot and get flowing and get some color to it. It's just so crystal clear right now. So what I'm gonna do is throw the rods back in the truck and drive about uh, 15, 20 minutes towards home and hit another river. Uh, we're gonna go to the hatchery and see how that works out. So uh, stay tuned and try another river here. But the water's come up about six inches since we got here. It's only been an hour. All these rocks right here were under where I crossed over. Crazy, river's changing fast. This, here's a poor soul. Yeah, the water's moving way too slow. Let's uh, go to a bigger river. It's weird that it's changing just as we've been here. Well, it's 4.30. Sorry, that's loud. I should roll the window up. Um, this is my first trip, after work trip, uh, the salmon season. It starts to get darker earlier and earlier. It did rain a little bit, so I thought that river might have been flowing a little more, and it's not. I'll give it about two more weeks. But um, we should only be about 20 minutes from... Uh, we're actually going to go to a hatchery and uh, fish at the hatchery on a lot bigger river. It's on the way home, so... I know there's already been a lot of salmon. They've been catching salmon it since August. I just haven't had time to make it over there. Man, I'd love to hook up with something, but uh, that's what everybody says every time they go fishing, right? You guys got any tips or tricks for me? <laughs> I'll tell you what. But I am getting excited. It's raining. It's getting dark and cold. Canopy's getting done. Something did leak like crazy in this rain. I'm pretty sure it's my driver's side window back here it leaks really bad so i got to figure that out because it's going to be hard to do some truck camping with that thing leaking like that but um yeah stay tuned guys we'll uh, be at the hatchery next stop All the way out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you still got the school buses. Man, you can really tell fall is in the air. It's crisp. All the trees are changing color. 
So there's a lot of people here. Before you guys say, well, why do you go to a hatchery or why do you fish at the hatchery? Um, I live five minutes from here. A lot of these people don't. So uh, we'll go give it a try. I got waders so I can get a different spot than they can. But uh, let's see what happens, fingers crossed. Guys, what well, we are trying, all the fish I've seen were uh, flossed, which is when they, here, check this out though. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I broke my rod. But uh, all these guys up here are flossing when you put a weight on the bottom, you have a really long leader, like six, 12 feet leader with some corkies on the end that float it. And you drift it through the school of fish and the, as they open their mouths, the line goes in their mouths. And then when the line goes in their mouths, they, when they chomp down, they stop that weight a little bit and they yank and it pulls the line all the way through the mouth and puts the hook in the side of their, their mouth. So it is a technique. Um, it is snagging, but it's also a technique and you're hooking them in the mouth. I don't do it. But uh, we're switching up to the bead and we'll see how it goes. I've had salmon hit beads. Um, so I'm kind of using my steelhead setup right now, but we'll, uh, it's a beautiful night. Look at it out here. All right, I drifted the orange bead for a while, but the camera died, um, which sucks. So I'm gonna try this hot shot for a little bit, but mostly all I see is the guys flossing, catching fish, so. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, guys, I could use a beer right now, but I got a confession to make. After the last couple videos and seeing them, I was like, man, I put on some weight. So I went and looked at this, I got on the scale and uh, I gained 36 pounds this year, 36. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was I was I quit my job and was off work for six months. Um, long story, abusive job, all that stuff. It's in uh, a horribly beautiful day salmon fishing episode. If you want to know more, but anyway, I'm not gonna lie, man. I could really use a beer right now, but with the whole no sugar, no alcohol, low carb thing going on, trying to lose weight so I can get into the back of the camper, makes guy an awfully thirsty. Can you guys relate to that? And then um. 
Does anybody out there know how to catch a salmon? Cause like, if you want to tell me, that'd be cool. Let's watch this guy pull his hook right out of the back of the fish, all these flossers. He must be proud. He's such a good fisherman. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, snagged it in the dorsal fin. All these guys are snagging. But the hatchery lets him. All these guys over here are snagging too. Anyway, I put on a, a twitching jig. I'm gonna try that. I tried a uh, hot shot, I tried a bead, I tried eggs. Um, you know, there's so many people out here banging lines off these fish. I think they're probably scared to hell. But, uh, we'll try a little bit as the sun goes down here just because it's such a pretty night and nobody's around me since I'm in a spot where you have to catch them. Um, stay tuned guys. Try to get one to the bank. It's not one. Having a good night. Oh my gosh. Snaggers. Oh, I want to roll right there where I'm fishing. Oh, look at this. They're fishing behind me and they've surrounded my truck.
guys. We struck out. <laughs> that was uh, crazy. I've never seen like so many hundreds of snaggers hooting and hollering at a hatchery without a game warden or anything in sight. Uh, needless to say, I won't come back here again, but uh, I had fun fishing for the night anyway. A little frustrating, all the snaggers seem to smoke, so there's cigarette butts everywhere. I don't mean to vent so much, but it was kind of disgusting. Um, I can't believe those guys think they're fishermen. That was funny. But uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hatchery fishing with a bunch of snaggers. I'm going to have to change the title of this. I um, appreciate you guys following along. Maybe if you'd be so inclined to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. If not, just come back and watch another episode. But uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the woods. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one.